All right, here's, let's try to do some assembly on the main, disassembly on the main shaft. Um, five, six synchronizer slider sleeve, slide it down on the hub and remove the detents, two springs and balls. So what I'm going to do is just, I slid it down. Oh my God. These are going to get away from you. Just go slow and be careful. I am going to use my magnet. So there's a ball. Here's a detent. And there's the spring that just popped out on me. So there's the ball, the spring, and there's a detent. Um, If you're not careful, you are going to lose some parts. Let me turn this around. And we will do it again. There's the ball. The detent doesn't want to come out. Be careful of the spring. There's the detent. There's the spring. And one more time. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But what I'm doing, let's see. I'm raising this up. Door the ball clears and comes out with the magnet. So there's the ball. And then I'm you can see the spring in the center of that hole. Lift this up. And there I got the spring and the detent. It came out. And then we should be able to slide this off. Da da da. All right, after you get the snap ring off, um, then it says to use a three jaw puller and pull off the five six synchro hub. And I'm doing exactly what the book says. All right, let me show you real quick what I'm doing. So I don't have I don't have a um, a strap rinse. I got a chain rinse, but I'm not putting a chain on these gears. So I'm using a oil filter wrench. I'm using an oil filter wrench. I think it's on second gear, maybe. I don't know. This is. I don't know what the hell gear this is. But I'm holding it from rotating, and then I'm using my three jaw puller, and I'm pulling the five six synchro off of the splines and they're coming really easy. But the oil filter rinse and I'm using a rag and I mean a, a the blue paper towel and it's just giving me a little extra traction. Um, 
and I'm sliding this right off the splines, as you can see. Man, this is where you need like an extra set of hands. And if I ask my old lady to come out and help me, she'll look at me like I'm a dumbass. So we got to improvise in this shop. And it's almost off. But this oil filter wrench gives it just enough. You got just enough to where you can grab on and hold. And there we are. That's it. All right. Let me get prepped for the next part. Okay. Now we are going to pull off six gear. Here it comes. Ooh, there's another roller bearing. Six gear, and I think we're going to pull this roller bearing off. Okay, so there's. There's six gear in the roller bearing. Okay, so after you get all this off, um, third gear and fourth gear are serviced with the main shaft only. So what we have to do now is we have to flip the whole shaft, set it back in my fixture, and then um, start pulling gears and sinkers off on the other end. Now, if you notice, let me see if I can show you. This metal thing right here is also a tool and it has different size holes on each end. And what you're able to do is it, you're, this chucks in a vise and it has ears that won't slide through the vise. And it's basically a tool to hold either or shaft in position while you're doing all this work on it. Um, yeah, you're not gonna vise this. I mean, you know that, but this actually does help quite a bit. You know, I spend a lot of money on these tools. They're helping me out quite a bit. Is it worth it? Maybe I should have just spent a few grand and bought a rebuilt one and saved the money on the tools. But when you're stupid like me and you just like to do your own stuff just for the sake of doing your own stuff, um, the tools are actually helping. So, all right, hang on and let me get the shaft flipped over and we'll start removing gear synchros and stuff from the other end. All right, reverse gear synchro sleeve. Hear that? There's balls in there. This doesn't go down far enough to get these balls out. If I pull this straight up, I'm gonna have crap going everywhere. So, I am going to try to reduce my odds of crap going everywhere and I am going to put this on and kind of tighten it up and then I'm going to pull this off maybe and if shit pops out maybe it'll stay contained in the plastic. And guess what? Shit just went everywhere. Oh. Guess what? That's it. Holy crap. This reverse slider is destroyed. Let me wipe it off. Man, I don't know if I can get this. All right, it's kind of important you take a look at this. Let me see if I can show you. OK. 
Can you see these teeth? I'm trying to focus it. They are completely rounded off. Everything is shining, I know. But take a look at those, they're completely flat. They are completely flat, if you can see those. Not completely, but completely rounded off. Well, we're going to have to get one of these for sure. So I'm starting a parts list now. This is going to be a lot of reverse gear issues, I can tell you. Um, these are not good. Not good. And I didn't really have a reverse issue, to be honest. All right, let me get going to the next uh, part. All right, tech tip. What I thought were springs and balls going to go everywhere, this spring and this ball is self-contained. The ball does not pop out. All you gotta do is slide that slider up and then just fish these out with a little micro screwdriver. But the spring in the ball is self-contained, it does not pop out. Shit, I wish I would've known that, but there's all three of those. The next thing we're gonna do now is use our three jaw puller and we're gonna pull that piece up um, just like we did the previous side. Okay, stay tuned. All right, um, my little three jaw wouldn't do it, I had to run the Harbor Freight. Um, this is a six inch, um, and the six inch works good. I think this one's a three or a four inch, and um, it just wasn't long enough. So let me get going on this. Um, all I'm doing is just pulling this off, and I'm trying to reduce the length of these, this video, but. We're going to pull this off and then we're going to get to our, what I believe is second gear, first or second, but I'll read it out of the manual here in a minute. Okay. Okay, the three jaw puller pulled this off. This is reverse. Here's this, the brass synchro. Um, it's rounded off a little bit. Um, ooh, here's some more bearings. Okay. Just gonna keep all this together. What I'm going to do is let me get a couple of still shots. I'm going to add a couple of still shots because you can see the teeth, how they're worn off. All right, so this is the reverse slider. I took a couple of photos. This just isn't going to focus. No matter what I do, I can't get it. These things are rounded off like a big dog. And this is the reverse gear. And so I'm going to need a reverse gear and I'm going to need a reverse gear slider cuz I mean these things are like just big time um gone. So I guess I start making notes on parts here in a minute, but that's reverse slider, and then that's reverse gear. So it looks like we're going to be ordering some more parts. Okay, hang on. Okay. If you don't have this, you're going to want to go get it. Because I went from the 6 inch puller, now I'm up to the 8 inch because now I have to go all the way down and you have to pull first gear off. So I bought this, Harbor Freight. Um, man, and so far I'm glad I did instead of just buying the one puller. Now when I pull off first, it's gonna pull off this 
spacer ring and it's supposed to pull off this bearing race which is interesting so let's see if I can pull this off one of these legs are going to pull off and pop me in the face. Oh, it's coming. Now, notice on this here, this is Harbor Freight. This ain't the greatest, but I put thread lube. Lube your threads. Um, just saying. Strip this out. It says drop forwards, but who the hell knows what that means. All right, something's pulling off. I feel it. Yep, I see the gear going up. I don't know if you can see it, but it's coming up. It's pretty easy, actually. See the coming up. I believe this is first gear. She's coming up pretty easy. It's just a little long winded. We're probably getting pretty close. The more you go, the more you lose the resistance. Okay, so she just went limp. Let me remove this. Puller. So that's the second puller in the set that I've used. So, okay, we got this bearing race. That's interesting. We got this big ring here. And then we got our first gear, I assume. I just wanted to see, I mean, the bearings feel reasonably tight. Um, just taking a camera photo. All right, so let's pull this gear off. Let me get this gear off, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take a look at the synchros. All right, hang on. All right, my battery died. Go figure. Okay, we're gonna pull this bearing off. All right, and then here is a one-two sync. All right. Um. So here's the first gear in the synchros on the slider. Here's a spacer ring. Here's the slider. This slider only has the three indent one. Um, and when then I go over here to the four five slider I replaced. Here's you have that indent, and then you have that indent, and then so you have you have three of the indents with the balls, and then you have three of the indents that are just indents, and it has a little piece of metal. 
Now, when I bought the sliders, it says the one, two, and the three, four slider I thought were the same. Maybe I'm mistaken, and maybe it was only the synchro friction rings were the same. But this is just, this is a three, four, and it has that extra indent. So I'm going to have to go back and recheck that. But this slider only has that indent. And the edges of the slider um, teeth are worn. And the first gear is completely worn. And what's funny is the synchro ring doesn't look worn that much at all. But of course we're getting new synchros. And on this slider, FYI, the balls and springs are the one units. So the springs are and the balls are captured so they won't fly away on you. So when you pull this whole um, gear number one apart, um, just FYI. So um, let's get on the second gear. Okay, so before we can get the one two hub off, there's a snap ring. And of course I'm snap ring challenged. Ooh, ooh, I think I got it. Okay, there's the snap ring. Now the way this this snap ring is machined, I think this is one of the snap rings that has something to do with um, with clearance. Um, you'll read that when you're looking the stuff up. That there's no shims on these. Everything is set with sized snap rings, which is interesting. So, um, so there's a snap ring. I'll bring it back and we'll start working on getting this hub off. Stand by. Okay, so the way this one two hub comes off the splines is you have to press the shaft through while you're holding second gear. So what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can do this on my own without calling the wife to help, but I'm gonna hold the shaft so it doesn't fall to hit the ground, and then I'm going to pump this and And we are going to see if... Oh, that comes out. It's just... It's, it's just coming right off, if you can see that. I thought we were in for a big ordeal, and I don't think we are. Just make sure you hold this. Now, my Harbor Freight, the I-beams here were like perfect spacing to do this. And there you go. Pay a little more attention instead of talk to the camera dummy. And we got it. Wow, easy. So, um, that's second, the synchros and the one two hub. Um, so let's go back and put this in our fixture. And we will start taking a look and inspecting some stuff. Okay, with seconds off, you have another bearing right here. Um, that slides right out. Um, we'll hang on to that. And then this is, I mean, this is your bare shaft. These gears, I'm pretty sure, are, they all stay on the shaft. Um, That's it. This is the, a bare main shaft. And I think she looks just fine. A little bit of cleanup, a little bit of some dried oil and stuff, but that's your that's your bare main shaft right there. Um with all the bearings and, and everything out. So So that's it. So let me get a couple of these gears and synchros on second. We'll go outside in the sun. And then we'll see if we can't, um, we'll see if we can't take a look at some of the edges and corners and gears and, oh my. Okay, hang on. All right, we're getting some glare here. These are the edge of the teeth. I can't even see in the sun. Can you, can you see that? This is second gear. No, it just won't. 
Ow, and I'm getting bit. How the hell do I manually focus? I can't even manually focus. So, those are the teeth. And they're kind of rounded. They're like way rounded. I mean, it's almost like that one right there is like broke off. Um... And then I come over here, the slider, I mean, I mean the hub, it's just like, I think it's a cast aluminum piece. I mean, it just has, nothing engages on that. Just things slide on it. And then I come over here to the synchro and I turn the synchro over. And the funny thing is the synchro doesn't look that bad. I mean, it looks, Sorry, I accidentally hit the button. Um, the synchro doesn't look that bad. The teeth actually look sharp, which is interesting. Um, and the slider didn't look that bad. So it looks like everything taken all the damage are the actual teeth on, on the actual gear. Man, those things are really rounded off. I'm gonna take a couple of close-up stills, and then this synchro doesn't look that bad. Of course, I'm getting new ones. I tell you what is interesting. I think this cone rides so deep in the synchro that I think the where I think the synchro has lost a lot of material. Um, I think, I think this has lost a lot of material and it's pretty smooth and you can see where it's really shiny and smooth. So I think these are worn. Um, let me show you something that I noticed and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let me wipe it off. So this inner cone has friction material as well. You don't get that on three and four, but on one and two synchros, Look at the uneven, it's not shiny all the way. Those gray spots are like divots in the metal. If that's coming in, it's like worn down funny. But the gray is low spots. The shiny is high spots where the friction disc has been rubbing. Three and four didn't have that. It was perfectly shiny all the way around. So this has high and low spots. First gear was I exactly the same, high and low spots. So I wonder if we're just not getting the engagement. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a big parts list and, um, and then beg for money <laughs> from the better half who makes more than me and see if she won't buy me some parts. That's gonna go over like a fart in a space suit, but gotta have it. Um, all right, that might be it for a week or two until parts start coming in. So, um, appreciate you guys. And stay tuned. We'll start going back together with the main shaft as soon as I get the parts. All right, be safe.